Hello, welcome, welcome, gorgeous beings of light. This is Elmira. Coming to you with sort of like a bonus miracle. Because I'd already done this morning's miracle. But this has just showed up. And so I'm going to pop this in as a bonus miracle for today. Keep it short and sweet. So, just in case anyone lands on this one, I just want you to take a big breath in. And just toss your body out the window. Your identity out the window. All your feelings and emotions out the window. Just a big breath in after each. And all of your conscious, unconscious, subconscious thought and your beautiful brain out the window or put it in another room. This is kind of like probably updated miracle. So some gorgeous human being just sent me a huge donation and I know that it's a huge donation for them. And... I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to bless that donation that you have sent me and send it back to you a thousandfold. And I just want to share a little bit about that for those of you who may struggle with money. It's a really good time to just pop this in there so that you can be aware of this as you continue to raise your frequency and have more beautiful blessings come your way. And so whenever I give any money out, and even if you're giving money out for bills, bills or electricity bill, gas bill, gas in your car or petrol in your car, we call it here in Australia, you know, paying your rent, paying your mortgage, see that money as you're sending it out coming back to you a thousand volt. That's the first thing I want to share. I also want to share that a fabulous, especially at this time of the year, or especially if you've got poop happening, um, a fabulous affirmation is miracles can happen in a split second and God, I need some now is one of them. Miracles can happen in a split second and God, I need one now. Miracles can happen in a split second and God, I need one now. That's one of them. And it, you can just shift that around a little bit. Miracles can happen in a, in a split second. And God, can you please send me some now? Miracles can happen in a split second. God, can you please send me some now? Miracles can happen in a split second. And God, can you send me some now? You can also make it specific. Miracles can happen in a split second. And God, can you help me find my perfect home now? Miracles can happen in a split second and God, can you help me find my perfect new clients now? Miracles can happen in a split second and God, can you please... Um, I'm trying to think of another one that's lovely. Can you please find my brother for me if that's something that's relevant, but you could use it for anything. And so... I just wanted to also add that this is how fast they can ha happen. So if you've been following my Facebook page, you'll know that there's this gorgeous lady, Tommy Tough Guy, she calls herself, but that's because her surname is Tom, T-O-M. And she has, um, she has been in the wars since the beginning of the year for as long as I've known her. I met her because she got caught in the floods and was moving house and the removalist didn't like cats and he chased a cat that she had been um, rehabilitating for three years that had been so severely beaten um, and chased the cat out and the cat disappeared. It took them over a year to catch it the first time and so we've been looking for this cat since March. But there was a black cat that showed up in that area and we thought it might have been Ruby it ended up not. It ended up being a stray. It ended up being a feral cat with 24 ticks on it, 
and she saved it. Everybody else just wanted to shoot it or get rid of it, and she took it to a vet. She even paid, she paid for all the vets. She does all of this on a pension. She will save the animals that nobody else wants, and lots of people were mad with her for saving it. Um, but the bottom line is the cat wouldn't have been feral if it wasn't some feral human that tossed it out to, to, to fend for itself. And so um, sometimes, you know, like I, it, it amuses me that people would say I'm an animal lover, but I'm only going to love this kind of animal. Or I'm a lover of the human race, but I'm only going to love white people. It's just ridiculous. You really need to check yourself at the door if you're doing that. But anyway, going back to my gorgeous friend story, because I don't want to take away from that. So she's been in the wars this last week. Um, her dad caught COVID from one of the staff members who was dying in hospital. She paid someone to look after all of her cats for nine days and only came once. So left her cats without food or water when it was like so hot last week when that happened. And then she needed to get back to her dad because she sensed he was waiting for her to pass. You can find all this information on my Facebook page if you're interested. And then, you know, she just got back. He passed away. She got back. She had no money to feed the cats or anything because of everything that had been going on. And a pension wasn't due for a while. And she does all of this on a pension. No help from anyone. And I thought, this is ridiculous. This lady is the most selfless human being I know. And so I wrote to one of the big companies here, Pet Barn, to see if I could get them to assist her. I put a post up on the community pages around here because she was used to live in this area to see if people would help her. And um, I just got this gorgeous, gorgeous message from her saying that, you know, someone had donated $200 and sent her a care package and the pet bound store I worked to had sent her a package of food and somebody else had sent her two hundred dollars and and um and I asked her yesterday to start saying miracles can happen in this split second and God I need one now. And every time your head drops into poor me, poor me stuff, stop it and just go, God I need a miracle and um God I need miracles can happen in a split second and God I need one now. Miracles can happen in a split second and God I need one now. Miracles can happen in a split second and God I need one now. So that's kinda like a little Little bonus for a miracle for today, just to share that with you, to thank the human being that sent me a huge donation, which is not necessary, but all donations are gratefully received. And you should know that I send them with a blessing to for it to be returned to you 1,000 fold. And that's the thing about sharing. And when you give money out, if you bless it, it will come back to you. It will absolutely come back to you. Give it with an open heart. Even when you've got none, go give a kid in the street five bucks and bless it. And just see what shows up. I remember Rhonda Byrne saying that she all her accounts were overdrawn and everything. And Spirit told her to go get $100 out of her bank account and to walk down the street and to, to just see the people that really, really needed that money to keep her heart open. And she got like five $20 bills and and they said that she would know exactly who to give it to. And the first one she came across was a couple of kids that were counting all their pennies that wanted ice creams and they didn't have enough money for ice cream. And so she gave those children $20 and you know, there's four other stories like that. But guess that was on a Friday, guess what happened next? On the Monday, $25,000 showed up in her life or in her account. So bless, bless money, understand it's limitless. There is infinite, infinite money in the universe and it is, you can effortlessly manifest it by just getting your energy right. So, alrighty, I wanted this to be really short. I don't even know how long it is because I've been speaking with my eyes closed, which is normal as well. That's why I don't like Facebook Lives or Lives or any of that stuff. I like because I work with my eyes closed and I wave my arms around like an Italian that I must have been in another life. So, love, love, love. My deepest love and richest blessing to you. I, I hope that this little bonus miracle, um, I hope this little bonus miracle um, inspires you 
to get yourself into right thinking and understand that your every thought is being manifested at the moment because of that miracles, magic, outer layer on earth that opened up. And so as I've mentioned before, you are manifesting whatever you're thinking. So if you're thinking poverty, I've got no money, that's exactly what you're manifesting and you need to step up out of that into. And the quickest way to do, I know to do that, miracles can happen in a split second and God, I need one now. Or you can maybe, miracles can happen in a split second and God, I need somewhere to live right now. There's a her terrible rental crisis going on here. So just, I'm trusting that that helps you all. I'm going to go back to um, loading all of the, the other video for today. And um, yeah, lots and lots of love to you. God bless. Have a truly blessed day and I look forward to being with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.